comfrey. Uh, one of my favorite plants in my garden is my comfrey. I have Bocking 14. That's the type of comfrey that I have. And uh, one of the most useful and beneficial plants that I have in my garden. As a matter of fact, I love it. Some people hate it because it spreads everywhere, but you can control it. With just a little bit of care, you can control it. It can be used as medicine or also use it like I use it, which is a companion plant to my garden. Take a look at my plants. You see how dark green they are? That's because of the comfrey. <clears throat> All my trees have comfrey at the foot of the, of, the, of the plant. And even the ones that are not fruit tree, fruit trees have comfrey as well. The comfrey acts like a dynamic accumulator and um, with its root system that can go as deep as eight to 10 feet. And it extracts the nutrients that from deep down in the earth as nitrogen and it stores it, in it on its leaves. I use it as a chop and drop because the leaves have all that nitrogen and I just drop the leaves underneath the rest of the plants all over my garden. I also use it as I'm gonna use it right now, as I'm showing you right now, which will be as comfrey tea. Okay. This is a perfect example. Red plum. It's a red plum right here. <clears throat> and look at the comfrey right next to it. The comfrey dwarfs it. But being that it has a comfrey, this little plant next year is going to be triple or maybe five times the size of that. Last year, this was a twig. And I put the comfrey right next to it. And it's now one of the most beautiful apple trees. It's a very expensive apple. Can't seem to remember the name. I have it written down somewhere, so I will look it up and write it. But look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at this. Every single one of these trees. Look at it. It's so tiny. Wait until next year. Look at the size. The width of that is the width of the rebar. Look. But because of the comfrey, see the width? But because there's a comfrey here, it's going to get very nice and thick. There's also a comfrey plant on that one. Comfrey plant on that one. I have comfrey and a comfrey plant on that one. Where is it? That one. I have comfrey plants on all my fruit trees. And this is what, even this one right here, right there. Even over there, that one has around 15, um, what are they, pears. Now I'm going to show you a part that I never show you because it's always overgrown. We left it overgrown on purpose, but this year we decided to bush hog the whole thing and we've kept it bush hog or mowed some part of it anyway it's about two and a half acres it's on the other side of my garden you never see it behind where you saw all those trees you saw grass in that part you also never see it so i have a lot of fruit trees that i never mentioned but i want to put more fruit trees all along these two acres the major trees you see here are all um, um nut trees all kinds of all different kinds of nuts my nut trees range from f about 40 to 100 feet tall, but there's plenty of ground to plant more fruit trees, and that's what I want to do. You can get these five gallon buckets from any Chinese restaurant for free if you ask for them. I just cut or I have my husband this time cut the comfrey from the top, leave about six to eight inches. You don't damage the comfrey. We do this around four times in the season. The season starting in about April, May, when the comfrey starts to come out to about October, November. 
So it grows so fast and you can cut it four times. What I do is two of those times I chop and drop and I just leave them right where it is underneath all the rest of the bushes. And the other two times we gather them like this. Just put them in these five bucket, five gallon buckets and um, fill them with water and let them sit, well, cover them and let them sit in the sun for anywhere between the least you can do, the least you can let them sit is two weeks if you want to use it because I used them at two weeks. I needed it to be very mild because I'm using it for the very gentle, tiny little um, seedlings that I, I don't need it to be really strong. But the, strong, the longer you leave it, the stronger it will be. You can leave it up to a month, two months. The longer you leave it, the darker it will get and the stronger it will be. Here we are. These two buckets here have comfrey. And this one, particularly right here, and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see, was done just recently, still, you could say cooking. <laughs> it's about a week old. So you go ahead and, I don't know, stir it around a little bit, put the top on and put it in a, hot place right now it's overcast so there's no sun but you put it somewhere because it's gonna smell we have here in this other one okay right there this one's about two weeks old so this is the one we're gonna use right now I'm gonna take it and I want my husband to show you that we're gonna pour it into this 50 gallon drum which is clear water, by the way. You, you see it dark like that because of the algae that grows on it. Since I don't put anything on it, but look, it's absolutely clear. So once we dump the comfrey to that, it should be something like one to 20, maybe? I don't know, I never measure it. See, it will definitely be green and algae. I know there were some pieces there, but they were not able to get them all, but that's okay. When we, when we take them, um... thank you, baby. So see, this whole thing, this whole barrel is gonna be used to um, water my plants. Let me show you. So he fills it all the way up. There. Now we're gonna go in the... Okay, <laughs> that's very good. So we're gonna go and feed the hugo culture. Let's go. This right here are my bush beans. So we're gonna feed them a little bit of comfrey tea. And also the hugo is gonna take a lot of comfrey tea. They're a little bit yellow, so once we put the comfrey tea in, they should turn deep, gorgeous, dark green. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. And as always, hit the bell, like, share, and subscribe.